Hi everyone, I'm Marianne. I'm a visual artist and voice coach from Singapore, currently in Singapore. And welcome to day 25 of my 100 day vlog project. So this is a daily vlog series where I share what I've learned over my journey as an artist and a creative, as well as a human in this journey called life. Um, and you know, things like pursuing your passion, making your dreams come true, living a meaningful and worthy purpose, um, all these things that I'm passionate talking about and also about the creative process and the artist journey. So if you have questions related to these things, feel free to ask them in the comments below or you can directly message me through any of my social media links that are listed in the write-ups attached to these videos. Um, I am on day 25, I can't believe it. I am at the quarter mark now and I have 75 more days to go. Um, yeah, and it's really exciting because I didn't actually think that I would stick it out this far. Um, it shows um, it shows to me that I have come a long way in terms of um, committing myself to something and um, yeah and, and, and interestingly recently I realized you know that um, commitment to something isn't so much about um, in part of it part of it is about the discipline of commitment uh, but part of it also is you know an alignment thing. So when we are aligned to something, when it's something that truly resonates with us, when it's something that truly matters to us, that we are really passionate about, that we're all for, and that you know our entire um, life and our value system revolves around that, it is very easy to commit to it. <laughs> so, so with this blog series, I am I'm finding it easy to commit to it at this point in time so far. Um, because it's something I'm really passionate about. It's something that I love. These are topics that I love talking about. These are things that I'm constantly exploring in my life. This is the way I've been living my life for many, many years now. And I love sharing it. And that's why I have been committed so far for 25 days. Um, so, you know, in our lives, you know, in our journeys, um, I think at the very least, the commitment that we need to have in our life, that we must have in our life, is a commitment to doing the best that we can with what we have. Um, and I don't mean necessarily like, you know, doing the best we can in terms of what the world says that you should, you know, or what the right way to live is, or, you know, what um, our family expectations, or, or like whatever expectations placed on us by family, society, um, by your partner, um, by you know comparing yourself with your friends you know and you see that oh I'm too I'm like not doing what I should because I'm not living the same kind of life as them um, I, I don't see it that way I think the best that you can do for yourself is to live the best life that only you can live um, that's the way I see it as you know living your best life it is the only life that is the life that only you can live it is the journey that only you can go on and every single one of us is different. Every single one of our journey is going to be different. And nobody, nobody, nobody in the world can tell you otherwise or can tell you how you should live or can tell you, um, you know, nobody. And, and you shouldn't give power. Um, okay, I shouldn't say shouldn't. <laughs> because I talked a few days ago about must versus should, right? And should is all about like, oh, you know, the expectations and the rules and all that. Okay, so... What I'm saying is, you know, I believe that we mustn't let anyone tell us what we should do. <laughs> Maybe that's a bit too complicated. Uh, but basically, I believe that, you know, your life is your own and you and, and you are the best person to know how best to live it. And you mustn't let anyone tell you otherwise. Like, not even me, okay? Like, you can watch my videos, you can hear my perspectives, you can hear my sharing, you can learn from my lessons. But ultimately, you decide how best you want to live your life. Even I can't tell you what that is. Um, yeah, so you're on your own unique journey. You're on, on your own unique path. You have a very unique set of circumstances. You have a very unique set of talents. And sometimes it's not very clear what all of that is amounting to. But you cannot compare yourself with somebody else. Um, for a long time as an artist, I really compared myself with other artists because... You know, it's very natural when you're at the beginning of a new journey. Like when I've just started becoming an artist, um, it's overwhelming because I don't know what it, I don't know what that means. And for a long time, you know, in the beginning, my idea of what an artist is was, you know, that I had to have an exhibition in an art gallery um, and sell paintings. <laughs> so that was my idea of artist, right? Gallery, exhibition, sell paintings. 
Um, and I think, you know, for most people who are not artists, that is the concept that we have of artists as well, you know. Gallery, exhibition, cell painting. I have lost count of how many times people have asked me, oh, you know, so you're an artist, like, um, you know, when are you going to open your gallery? Like, for some reason, people think artists, people associate artists with galleries and, uh, yeah, but anyway, <laughs> um, you know, so for a long time, I thought that, you know, as an artist, that was the route that I needed to take, that I had to get my work into galleries or into exhibitions and to show myself. And, and a lot of times, these people giving me advice, they were life coaches, but they were not artists. So they would say the same things that most non-artistic, most non-artists would think. Um, and what I realized over the last seven years of being an artist is that you know, that's not the case. That's not the case for everyone. Everyone is on their own unique journey. Even if you're an artist, you don't have to do the exhibition route. You don't have to focus all your energy there. There are different kinds of artists and you can find your own path and you can find your own way. Um, and this is something that I didn't really get until I started figuring out what that is for me. Um, I never ever thought, like um, two years ago, I didn't think that I would have started a project to paint 100 murals around the world. Two years ago, I only had one mural in Spain, which I got because I applied to an artist residency and I got accepted into the residency. And at that point in time, I was just concerned with doing that one mural because that was the project at hand. Um, it was only months later that, I, that the idea to do 100 murals around the world started to develop. And then I basically just decided to say yes and go for it. <laughs> um, and, you know, in the process of doing that, that's when I realized, you know, that this project of painting 100 murals was my own project as an artist that I wanted to do, which was all about me um, going out there and experiencing the world and at the same time leaving something that, um, you know, leaving, leaving an expression of what I really believe in for the people who I would encounter. Um, so ultimately, you know, your path is your own and you have to decide what that is for you and you can't compare yourself with someone else and think that um, I must also follow what they are doing. Um, just because you're in the same career path as your, as your colleagues, as your peers, doesn't mean that your journey has to be the same way. Um, just because you are 35 and single doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you that you are not married and having kids yet. Everyone is on their own path. Everyone's on their own journey. You don't have to do what anyone else is doing. Um, you The only thing that you must do is to figure out what your life is for yourself and what that really means for you to live on your own terms and to live your best life and to do the best with what you've got. Um, so if you like today's video, my milestone video, 25% of the way through. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel or like my Facebook page, wherever you're seeing this on. And if you have questions, um, feel free to ask them in the comments or you can directly, directly message me through any of my social media links. Um, they're all in the write-ups. So stay tuned. I'm going to be back tomorrow with another video and I will see you then.